Today, we're gonna do swatches for 120 colored pencils. Hi, I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crime Collection. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies out there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. I can't believe I don't already have this one up. I feel like I should. I have like 150 Prismacolor. I have 120 Polypromos but I don't have the 120 colored pencils from Crayola. Come on, Jenny. So we're gonna go over that today. I have a swatch chart. I have one for 100. We won't do that swatch today, chart today, but if you download the 120 swatch chart, you will get the 100 with it. The two colors that aren't in the 120 are Robin's Egg Blue and Spring Green. And then there's 22 extra colors. They don't match up to the crayons. So if you were like, oh, I wanna get 120 color pencils, 120 crayons, they don't have the same colors in both. And one time what I will do is I'll compare. Like I'll take all the colors that you can get in colored pencils and all the ones that you can get in crayons and put them together. Cause I know that you guys want that. I'll call it the combined colored pencils and crayons from Crayola. <laughs> this will all be on my website. And then I'll leave a link to get these swatch charts. And I hope you guys like this video and getting all the colors for 120 Crayola colored pencils. Here is the swatch chart. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Hopefully I can keep it in the screen. I'm gonna try making it so that way it's super in the shot. These are the pencils, bubble gum. Razzle Dazzle Rose. So I'm doing it dark and then light. Look how pretty that is. This is on smooth HP paper. This one is Pink Flamingo. regular old pink. Let's hope you guys can see a little better. You can't see the whole sheet at the same time, but I really wanted to see you guys be able to see when you're putting down these colors. What you can kind of do too is you can layer colors with colored pencils. Colored pencils are really cool. I do like colored pencils if I'm in the mood for pushing hard all the time. To call me pink. Otherwise, then I'm like, oh, give me markers. But mark with colored pencils, you can get so much shading. Depending on how hard you press, how many layers you do. Next one is, and I've used these a couple times, Melon. I did a coloring page that you can check out with these. Uh, when I do coloring pages, I wouldn't use them all, but it is nice to have the varieties so that way you can do shading. You can have a bunch of different colors available. Winter Sky, which is interesting. If I thought Winter Sky, I would not think pink, right? It's like a... And this is one I think that I just put in. So some of these, when you download the chart, uh, like how there's not... <laughs> line right here like little things I was up till like midnight doing this because creating these charts is not like super easy especially when they're in this color order type thing I really look at it and I see oh where can I put this where can I put that ruby red so I try to make it nice for you guys very pleasing to look at. So I might change where a couple of these are. Parrot pink. So that does not look very pink either, right? Looks more red, so I can probably change where winter sky goes. Maybe where ruby red. But again, I didn't quite know what the colors were gonna be like and on my website, I do like all the HTML for these, but I hadn't done these yet because for 
some of them red orange what I will do is if the, the back of the box let me show you guys that real fast it's not always super accurate so which one did we just do sometimes it's not like super accurate winter sky yeah so look at winter sky here and then look at winter sky here <laughs> that's why I like to do the swatches red orange and then find the hex code from that it's not like 100% accurate because you do get gradients so usually the hex code is like the most saturated you're gonna get and the least saturated would be in that color family all right this one's red Sun yellow. This was another one that was unique to this collection. It's a good idea last night. So then I'm like, oh, it's right in my head. So I might move this one because it looks a little more orange in tone for you guys when you guys do it. This one is mango. Going down. How can I hold that best? There you go. I just have to get my hand away from there. There we go. It's starting to look so pretty. I love how these come together. I love this. It takes more time to do it this way. Orange, circuit orange. Oh, orange circuit, yeah. I totally went backwards on that, right? There's so many different ways to color with colored pencils, and you can blend them. I actually just did a video with Holbein pencils. You guys should check that one out where I tried a couple different ways to blend. You could probably use a blender on these two. This one's a wax base, I believe. It doesn't have information on there. Definitely not oil. I should look it up. <laughs> you guys know. So that's super useful when blending. You want to make sure you have the right blending liquid or formula because they don't all work on everything. Light orange. Let's see. Oh, it's getting my hand. That's not good. I wanted to get both. This one is yellow orange. Let's see. So that's how I did the other ones. The other hex codes. And so I will have these hex codes up. I'm actually probably gonna do that sometime next week because as soon as I get the colors on here, I pull them into my computer. And then from there, I'm able to get what they are. That's the most accurate way you can do the back of the box. And sometimes I do that. But if I was going to be 100% accurate with everything, I would do it. Like, if I'm going along and most of them are like, oh, that one looks pretty good, I'll keep doing it. But if, like, I, I'm going along and, like, that hex code is not matching that at all, like, what did I just do that with Sharpies? <clears throat> and like the back of the box, the sides of the boxes, the computers, right? Everything was so different and so off. So I was like, I'm going to take a picture of this. And then find my own hex codes, coral leaf. Okay, so I see. Maybe we can switch a couple of these. Spend another hour on it. I was so tired. I was like, oh, it's 12 o'clock. I need to go to sleep. 
I just wanted to make sure I had this done so I could film it today. Lobster red. This is another unique color, just to the 120. Ooh, it looks like I got that one right. It's kind of orangey. I've done other lobster reds. I feel like, I don't know if other brands have lobster. Or if it's Crayola that has had lobster. I don't think they have it in crayon color, mahogany. And then I tried to do browns down here. I say that and then it's not, oh, it's kind of like a reddish brown. So yeah, I'll switch winter sky to be more up here. I just had no idea. Cause like I said, the back of the box makes it look like it would belong where it is, but then it just did not. So I kept those in color order. You guys will be so proud of me as I went. This one is magenta. And seriously, like I had to make this an even square. This one is sizzling sunset. And I think this one he threw in the They threw in the neons into the set. I can try to work it in. It's not super saturated. Alright. The next one is Outrageous Orange. Another one that is a oh that one's super vibrant. I don't know if it translates as well as on camera. It is super vibrant. They threw the neon into the 120 set, I believe. Heat wave. Oh, that one's a little bit lighter. I will definitely, so just pick it up. It'll be all updated for you. <laughs> Atomic tangerine. I feel like that's a lot different than the crayon color. Oh, look at that. I feel like that's a lot different than the paint on the pencil. That does not look, the tip looks the same, but look at that. Not the same to me. Sand. When people use colored pencils in so many different ways. <laughs> Apricot. It's like outrageous orange just stands out a lot right there. Well, it's hard. Okay, so what I was saying, the most accurate way to do this wouldn't be to fit it in this space, but would be more to almond. To fit it, like, so they're not necessarily in this rectangle it would be to fit it like in a color wheel space and some companies do that like Copic does that and there was another one I saw I've been looking at so many colors charts but I don't know if it was green yellow if it was Faber Castell or who it was golden yellow yes golden yellow but uh let's make sure that's focused That's not super saturated either. But yeah, color will be the most accurate way to sort these. And mellow yellow. But then it gets all weird looking. I've, I've done a few swatch charts that way. I don't know if people like that. Or if they just like the square. I don't know. I go back and forth. <laughs> yellow. I'm doing Copic right now and I'm trying to figure out, right now I have it kind of sporadic, but I'm like, should I put it together like this? I'm really trying to decide. 
I don't have all the cookie markers, so I will be able to do the sweatshirt. I wish I did. As soon as I make, what is it? $2,000. I can buy those perfects. <laughs> Alright, Lemon Glacier. Well, that one's pretty yellow. This one, we are getting green. Arctic Lime. Got a lot of... This one does not have a lot of pigment in it. It probably shouldn't be more towards the center. I tried to put the less pigment in the center. I have a feeling I'm going to be changing this swatch chart a ton. <laughs> Harvest Gold. It looks like this is brown. It's just it's close to some of these colors. This is a unique one that you can't get very often. There, I don't believe there's a gold in here. So, Palm Leaf. Krill actually has more colored pencils than just these ones. Like this is, if you want to get all of Crayola colored pencils, you have to get more sets. Okay, we're back over here. Pell Rose. It's very gray, purpley. It's kind of what I put over right here. It's almost gray, isn't it? It's very pink. That one does not match it at all. I wonder why they do it. <laughs> like that fuzzy wuzzy. This one's very like kind of reddish. I feel like the crayon's not as reddish. So like I said, that will be super fun to do. Is a video comparing the crayons to the colored pencils. I like want to do it right now. I want to do so many videos right now. But I just i to do them as I have the time for Mahavalis. Pretty. Marvelous Mauve and Dark Mauve. Like, it's so funny, like, they have some other random names. They're like, okay, let's get traditional with Mauve. They have all these different colors of mauve. <laughs> okay, next we have maroon down here. That one's super pigmented. This next one is raspberry. My hand is going to hurt every time I color with a ton of colored pencils. My hand always hurts afterwards. Come on. Does your hand hurt after you color with colored pencils? Brick red. That almost looks purple. It comes out super red. Like we said, the paint the paint doesn't really match on these very well. The dark mop, remember? <laughs> so how does this compare? We'll have to see. So yeah, similar, red violet. This one's very violet, it probably should go. But I didn't know what color dark mauve would be, so I put it right there. But I will move dark mauve here. Orchid, so we're gonna we make our way up to the purples. We have royal purple right above me. I'm like looking everywhere but there. Definitely has those more blue hues to that one. Then lilac.
ultraviolet. Blue violet. Plum. Oh, this one's like super dark. Periwinkle. I've used this one before. This one almost has like two tones in it. Okay. Blue here. I love how the charts start kind of coming together, especially when you have it like in color order like this. It just really pops and then you can really find the color that you need. This one is navy blue. to change it on here. I don't know if the other 100 didn't have the purple after violet. Sometimes it, they do and sometimes they don't. It's definitely interesting. Purple Mountain's Majesty. Dark blue. This one was one that was not in the 120, so I mean the 100. That one's super pigmented. Look at the range on that color. That's pretty. Purple heart. Indigo up here. Another very good rain color there. Slate. That almost looks green to me. Yeah, that's kind of green. <laughs> Maybe I should move that to that side. I tried to put the grays up here. Wild blue yonder. Okay, I'll have to move this over too. Oh, I think this was in the grays. Maybe I'll just have to move the grays over here. Looks like I still have a little bit of work to do. <laughs> Moving these around. Manatee. Well, and then it's hard. It's like, what's divisible by 120? And I want to make sure it was kind of a rectangle. You get kind of limited. <laughs> Outer space. Next is cool gray. My favorite are definitely the ones that have a little bit more pigment. I know I don't care too much for ones that don't have a ton, but you could use them to blend with other colors. And we're on to white, which is 
you can also use white for blending. This one's just a little bit off white. You can't really see it. Super easy. Sky pool. Wait. Right here. I've seen so many different colors for sky. Sharpie's colors for sky are interesting. They're like a purple. Sterling. Very close to sky blue. Cornflower. Absolute zero. I keep like, having, I don't know if I'm gonna have all the colors. I put all the right colors on this chart. Pacific blue. Pacific blue is up here. Definitely green. Blue bell. Yeah, I should check periwinkle blue bell places. We'll do that. That is not purple at all. <laughs> Switch those. Light blue. Very close to blue. Midnight blue. That one's definitely green. I will be switching. <laughs> Midnight blue and dark blue. Look at that. I would even put dark blue in white here. This one is beautiful. Definitely a pretty color. I still don't think they should have gotten rid of Daniela. Let's get rid of some of the other ones we don't like as much, right? Blue Bolt. That one's very close to Sterling. That's one of the things too, is when you buy a big set, you want to make sure you get unique colors. And that does not look that much different than that one for me. Blush. And this one's peach. Green blue. Look at how pretty this is all looking. <laughs> Needs a little bit of work, but oh yeah, that's definitely dark. And we have teal. That almost looks forest green to me. That looks still. <laughs> Pine green. Right here. Oh, I guess that looks pine green. Green. Tropical Rainforest. Aqua Green.
Oh, I like how that one went down. Next we have a sea green. Next we have a jade green. Next we have a shamrock. This one is olive. Screaming green. I didn't even have to look at that one. I like knew it. I wonder why they didn't put Robin's egg blue in here. Yellow green. Or like the other ones and just say, hey, we're going to do a 125 pack. That drives me crazy. I don't know if that drives you crazy too. It was like, why not put in all your colors? Like, I know I get the packaging and you're like, oh, well, 125 would make it. I really think that's why they don't. It's because of the packaging. They have to get new tooling and packaging. They did different sizes. So. Can you make the box just a little bit wider to accommodate all the colors? Granny Smith Apple. Forest green. Oh, there's pine green and forest green. Interesting. I almost like it when the colored pencil is not as sharp. So you get that really nice right here, how you get that nice blend. <laughs> Spring frost when you're coloring. Some people like them super sharp. Okay, I'm trying to push my heart. <laughs> nothing's coming out. It means like nothing's gonna come out when I don't press. <laughs> Next one is asparagus. Black. coming out really pigmented. I wonder why that is. I wonder if I just leave some of them down. I love that. Look at, look at that gradient. See? That's why I like it. See how that tip is like that? I love it when tips get like that. <laughs> so pretty. We are on the lime green. Yep, it's very light. Copper. I like doing the gradient because then it really like the light to dark to light for Sienna. So that way you can really see what your pencils are gonna look like and the full range of your pencil. Coloring large areas, I definitely like it when it's not pointed. But if you're coloring details, sometimes it's nicer. Okay, antique brass. Right here. Taupe. I want to 
see now, right? Khaki. This one's light brown. Coco. Dark chocolate. Brown. Dark brown. Oh, I like this one. I like the super pigmented ones. Beaver. Turquoise. It's getting close to being done, and I found I haven't had to add any off to the side. I was worried about that. I was like, oh wow, I get all these colors right that are in this chart. I went by the back of the box. So I was like, the back of the box. I got them all right tomorrow. Oh. Well, that one definitely is redder. One almost looks close to maybe not. I was like, that one looks like sand, but nope. We have warm gray. So warm gray needs to be over here. Slate over here. Cold gray over here. Cold gray has like a green greenish tone to it. Then we have gray. Now I just need to find a couple colors that I'm missing. Three colors. Which I was trying to keep them in color order if I just dumped them out. I was like, I want to keep these the way they are in the boxes. Here's true blue. I like this one. It's pretty. So this used to be a crayon color, but it's not anymore. I think this is the only... Where you can get the true blue Crayola. And I don't know if they're like the same hue. That'd be interesting to check. I do have that one, so I could check. All right, here's our fiery rose. It's like orangey, pinky kind of. Um, Jasperry Jam. So I just have one left to find. Bronze yellow. Where could that be? So I found bronze yellow. I kept looking for it. It's green looking. That's so weird. I was like, no wonder I can't find it. So it looks green. I zoomed out so you guys could see the whole thing. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? This is what the 120 crayon looks like. I like the colored pencils a lot better. I feel like your coverage is a, a lot cleaner if you look at that. 
Oh, this one's a little shiny because it's in here, but um, I feel like they're just cleaner and it's so much prettier. Look at that. I love colored pencil. They, they just go down so pretty. Uh, I'm trying to look for some that are the same. I, blush and blush are the same name, but they don't look the similar. Jazzberry Jam and Jazzberry Jam. So this will be interesting. I should definitely do that. Maroon and Maroon, they do not look the same. Tickle Me Pink and Tickle Me Pink actually do look the same. But some of these look the same and some of them don't. So that would be very interesting to look at. Royal Purple looks a little bit more reddish hair, not as reddish hair, but I prefer the colored pencils. I feel like those are just beautiful. Do you think, compared to the crayons? The crayons, you get a lot more like white space in between and they're a lot more flakier. The colored pencils are just, they don't go down super fine. This color palette is super nice. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the colored pencils? Do you like this? Do you have the 120? Do you have the 100? So this is what the 100 looks like right here. Swatch chart. It's gonna look a little bit different because I had to move things around. I had to add like two extra <laughs> lines right here. Uh, so I, I, like I said, I was moving everything around and I still am gonna move a little bit more around for you guys when you download it. But I think this turned out super beautiful. Check out some of my other colored pencils videos. Like I said, I have the Holbein colored pencils. I have Polychromos. I have the Prisma color colored pencils. And then I'm going to put up the Derwent one soon. I feel like I'm doing a lot of colored pencils. So next time I'm probably going to do something else. But here's the box. 120 colored pencils. The swatches. I'm in love. I love this. Let me know what your favorite color out of here was. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next video.